Hi, and welcome to the more five minute St. Louis real estate market update for July 2017. I'm Dennis Norman, one of the broker owners at More Realtors. And if you'll give me about five minutes of your time, I'll bring you up to date on what's happening in the St. Louis real estate market. First, before we get started, I want to share with you a, a source for great uh, home prices, St. Louis home prices and sales information, just like what I'm sharing here. You can have it right in the palm of your hand. Uh, you can quickly and easily access uh, real-time, accurate uh, home price data, home sales data, uh, uh, information on uh, inventory of homes for sale in an area. All of this uh, uh, information straight from uh, information gathered from the MLS. And you can get that through our STL Market Data iPhone app or Android app. Completely free and easy to use. Uh, for the iPhone app, go to the App Store, search St. Louis Real Estate, and uh, probably one of the first choices, if not the first choice that will come up, will be St. Uh, STL Market Data with the little red roof there like you see. Uh, or you can go to, uh, for Android, you can go to Google Play and search STL Market Data. Uh, when the app opens in the iPhone, it'll uh, identify your area that you're in, the zip code, and automatically pull up the most recent home sale data, prices, uh, uh, all of that for the most recent 12 months, compare it with the prior 12 months. So you can see trends, you can see what's going on uh, in the Android app. Right now, it doesn't always open automatically to your location. You may have to select your location, but in either app, you can also select... Uh, uh, any other uh, city or zip or county in the area and get information. So uh, I highly recommend you get that and you can uh, have information just like what I'm sharing here today. Uh, there's a uh, picture of the screen. It'll show you how it works here real quick. When it opens on the iPhone or iPad, you'll see it uh, immediately identifies the area you're in and has uh, some great information. So while you're out driving around neighborhoods and uh, uh, checking out uh, homes or condos, you can also select uh, uh, whether you want condo data or home data. And like I said, you can do it by county, city, or zip, but this will make it very easy for you to uh, really see what's going on in the neighborhood or in your neighborhood. So now let's get started with the, uh, the market update for July. Uh, all the information I'm going to talk about here and the data I'm going to share uh, is going to be based upon uh, what we call the St. Louis core market, the five county core market, which is where uh, uh, almost all the, the real estate activity in our area in Missouri, on the Missouri side for St. Louis, uh, uh, happens. It would be the city of St. Louis, St. Louis County, St. Charles County, Jefferson County, and Franklin County. So uh, with that in mind, this first chart uh, I'm showing here, uh, it's a two-year chart for that five-county area. It shows home prices and sales. The red line at the bottom would be the uh, median uh, price that homes actually sold for each month, uh, you know, by month over the last two years. Uh, the lime green line uh, represents the median list price of so those homes that sold. And then the teal uh, line there that jumps around uh, is the uh, represents the number of homes sold uh, by month. And uh, most recent month uh, that we've got on here, which would be June, this reports through the end of uh, uh, of June, so we've got complete you know data for the month, uh, would be on the right side. And I, I drew that vertical red line there to show the one year ago mark because as you can see, things do fluctuate, especially home sales. I don't think it's a secret that uh, more homes sell in the spring than sell around uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas uh, and prices fluctuate too. But uh, the vertical line there will give you some point of reference. Uh, also, let me draw a couple of lines here. So looking at like a two year uh, price trend of, of what homes sold for, that purple line I just put there, you can see the trend is upward. Uh, if we go back to where it was two years ago at this time and where it is today, uh, a pretty, you know, a trend line that uh, uh, shows some increase in prices, but not such a uh, great increase that it would be concerning or, uh, or alarming. Uh, when I look at home sales, uh, this orange line I just drew on here, you can see sales uh, have trended up uh, over the last two years slightly, not as much as prices have, something to keep in mind as we go forward. Now, when I just look at the trend for the past year, that red line I just put on here, that shows home prices over the past year and kind of looks like just on the chart there, that's a little flatter than that overall two year trend was. And when I uh, draw the blue line here to show sales, it actually looks like it might even, uh, you know, kind of flat, might have even taken a dip down. So just based upon that one chart, sort of looks like uh, might have had a little more growth uh, for that 12 month period that ended a year ago versus the, the most recent period, uh, but uh, pretty close, pretty good, uh, pretty good overall anyway. Now let's look at, uh, 
uh, our uh, STL market reports. Uh, I, I might add too that chart comes from our STL market charts. We're so serious about this stuff, and we're so uh, at more realtors, and we so uh, are so focused on making sure our agents and uh, their clients have the most accurate uh, and latest information, so that uh, they can make good decisions that we spend a lot of time and effort trying to make sure we can get that data. And when we can't get it, uh, because a lot of what's out there uh, is just not that accurate or relevant, uh, we create our uh, own means of getting it. So the uh, charts I just showed you is from STL Market Charts. It's a proprietary uh, software that we've developed. Uh, nobody else has it but more. And now I'm showing you our STL uh, Market Reports. Same thing, proprietary software that we've developed to make sure our agents have the, uh, the latest information and their clients are as informed as they can possibly be. All of this data I'm showing you comes from our massive database, which has uh, all the records from the uh, St. Louis Realtor MLS in it, so we can make sure we have the most relevant and accurate data. So uh, back to uh, the market report. So this is a, a market report for that uh, five county area. Uh, at the top there, it shows uh, what we're looking at here is a 12 month period, because when you just look at like one month and compare home sales for maybe June, uh, 2017 to June 2016, it doesn't always paint, I mean, it paints a picture of that one particular month, but um, you know the, the market's seasonal in more than a month. So looking at that 12 month period gives us a better look. So at the top there uh, on, on the blue uh, uh, boxes, beneath the blue boxes on the top line, that shows what home prices have done. Most recent 12 month period, ending uh, the end of last month into June, uh, compared to the prior 12 month period, see home prices are up about three and a half percent. Uh, in this five county region. Under the red boxes, you can see what sales have done. Uh, they're up about, uh, actually I got that backward. The first one was sales, I'm sorry. And then home prices are up about 4%. So sales up three and a half percent, prices up about 4%. Uh, beneath that, you can see what the trends are as well as month supply. Currently there's uh, about a 2.4 month supply of homes for sale in that five county area. Now, when we drill it down and start bringing a little more local, which by the way, we can bring all the data we've got I can't go through it all here. This would be a five hour market update, but you can contact us uh, or contact your more agent. And uh, we have data that goes down to neighborhood level to subdivision level. Uh, we can really drill this down and make it uh, uh, very, very uh, uh, useful for you and, and the most relevant information for you. But uh, right here, I'm just gonna drill it down to the counties and you can see by county there on the left side, what the month supply is. So how many months of inventory there is. Uh, just historically, uh, six months would be, uh, you know, what we'd probably call a typical inventory. If you see six months of supply, uh, most would say that that market doesn't favor buyers or sellers. Once the inventory starts dropping and going below six months, uh, it tends to favor sellers. Now, caution sellers, it doesn't mean you can charge whatever you want to charge. It's just the market definitely favors you and, and certainly helps pricing. If it goes above six months, it usually favors buyers. So you can see just at a glance there, every county we're looking at in the whole St. Louis MSA, which I have at the bottom, everything's uh, well below that six month mark. Highest one on the chart here is uh, Franklin County at 3.97. Uh, so just under four months, and that's down from where it was last month. Last month, it was just over four months. Uh, most of these numbers are, are, are down slightly from where they were last month. The overall MSA is up a little bit. Last month was 2.63 months, now it's 2.71, so pretty consistent. Uh, this table shows a uh, uh, price per square foot trend. My price per square foot is the best way to look at home prices and compare prices and see what's really happening rather than just looking at that gross median sales price. So price per foot's a, a big deal. And uh, here, once again, I've got it broken down by county uh, and the five county area and the MSA, the, the whole area, and just cutting right through the chase and going over to the right column there. You can see it's all uh, red arrows pointing down. Pretty much the same as last month. Last month we had two green arrows, uh, or actually three green arrows going up. So uh, trend down, and, and what that trend is, what we're looking at is, okay, last month in June, what is the median price per foot in each of these areas for homes that are on the market, currently for sale? Because that's where they're headed. That's where prices are headed. And then we compare it to, okay, well, what did the ones that closed the prior month, I'm sorry, that month uh, sell for? Uh, and so you can see, we, we see the trend is down, which you would expect because the ones that closed in June sold in the heat of the market in April and May and the spring market bring the most, uh, the highest price. And they are going to trend down a little bit as we uh, head out of that market and into the uh, the fall market. Top sellers markets, this is based upon month supply, supply demand, remember that old uh, uh, economics 101 thing. Uh, you can see here all of these uh, uh, on our top 10 list, uh, all these markets have a very low supply of homes for sale. 
Uh, the top, uh, I don't know, what is it, 246, uh, six of them on the list are under one month supply. That's up from last month. Last month, the top four on the list had less than a one month supply. So now we're up to six. So, uh, uh, and then the next three have a one month supply. And the highest one on here is just barely over one. So Rock Hill, Maryland Heights, Maplewood, Brentwood, you can see them. Uh, by the way, you can see these complete lists, uh, not just the top 10. You can see the complete list by going to uh, our site, uh, St. Louis's best and favorite real estate search site, which I'll talk more about in a second here, but St. Louis real estate search.com. All this stuff is there. Well, all these tables are there, are these lists, I'm sorry. Now, top buyer's markets. There are some buyer's markets, even though predominantly uh, everything in St. Louis is a seller's market. Uh, here's our top 10 buyer's markets, and uh, at least we have 10 this month. Last month, actually, there's a few more than 10, but uh, so we were able to have a top 10. Last month, we could only have a top nine because that's all there were. Uh, we rank this, or, or this is based upon over a six month supply. So you can see Burns Mills up there with like a over a two year supply of homes for sale, Pine Lawn up in North County over a year, Clarkson Valley out in West County uh, just about a year, and, and so forth. So there are definitely some markets that. Uh, favor buyers because there's plenty of inventory and some of it's a little bit stagnant. So uh, those are out there too. Hey, remember uh, when you are buying or selling, be smart. Uh, check out our uh, smart guide to selling your home, our smart guide to buying your home. And this is just not some uh, canned stock garbage that uh, some national company has done and we've just branded and stuck our logo on. These are guides that we have created from scratch. Uh, they have been, uh, they're filled with information from us as well as uh, other professionals within the St. Louis uh, uh, real estate industry. Uh, really, really good information. You can uh, access them online, read them online on your computer, download them from your computer by going to smartguidetobuyingyourhome.com or smartguidetosellingyourhome.com or uh, let your more agent know or give us a call or contact us and we'll be happy to mail you one to their beautiful full color uh, uh, magazines that are uh, just filled with information. Also, as I mentioned before, if you're searching for a home to sell, uh, want to find more information on the market itself or what your home may be worth, go to St. Louis's best and favorite uh, real estate search site, St. Louis real estate search.com, St. Louis real estate search.com. Oh, how can I say it's the favorite or the best? Hey, don't believe me. Go Google it. Google St. Louis's favorite real estate search site. Google St. Louis's uh, best real estate search site. See what comes up. You'll see. We're the best and we're the favorite. But uh, it is it is updated uh, every five minutes throughout the day. I don't know of another website anywhere that uh, displays uh, um, uh, St. Louis uh, uh, real estate for sale in St. Louis from the uh, Realtor MLS. It's updated any more frequently than five minutes. Uh, Realtor.com, for example, the big behemoth, uh, they only update about every 15 minutes. So uh, you're going to get the latest and most relevant information right there on St. Louis Real Estate Search from a local realtor. Also, we've got uh, live chat. You'll see the little guy down there. Uh, well, we've got an 800 number at the top. Makes it easy. Yes, we have real live people right here in St. Louis, agents that can answer your question, show you the property, do whatever you want. You can call us at the uh, 800 number at the top. Got live chat down at the bottom. It is manned uh, many, many hours a day. And you can actually, at the other end of it, it's not a, a foreign call center person. It is a, a real live uh, a real estate agent or broker. Heck, you probably talk to me half the time on there. So uh, also looking for uh, your home's value. You can find your home's value online in under a minute. Go to stlouishouseprices.com, stlouishouseprices.com. Find out the value of your home. Or looking for open houses for this weekend. Um, Check out St. Louis's favorite open house site, stlouisopenhouses.com, stlouisopenhouses.com. Great place, show you everything that's coming up uh, this weekend. Also, any of uh, our more agents can uh, also produce for you something you will not find anywhere else in St. Louis from any realtor is our open house reports. Uh, they can easily, for any area, uh, they can produce a uh, 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 online or printed report for you of uh, everything coming up uh, that's open this weekend. Uh, they can also pull up for a specific type of house you're looking for. If you're just looking for atrium ranches, for example, in West County, they can pull you a custom report for that. So let us know. Finally, uh, hey, if you're thinking about uh, buying a FISBO on your own or selling a FISBO, I would encourage you to check out these two uh, sites. Don't buy FISBO.com and don't sell FISBO.com. Am I saying this because I'm a realtor? No. I say lots of things that are unpopular with uh, realtors sometimes because I just don't drink the realtor Kool-Aid all the time. I, like, um, I just like informing uh, agents and consumers of uh, how I see the market in a truthful manner. Uh, but uh, I actually wrote the pages uh, that you'll, all the information you'll be reading on both of those. I think they're an honest look at um, some of the uh, well, advantages too, but risks and pitfalls of buying uh, directly from a for sale by owner. 
uh, or trying to sell a, uh, a home on your own for sale by owner. Uh, yes, this is a little bit of a complicated uh, transaction. And one way or the other, you, you really do need to consider having a real estate professional involved. I'll tell one quick short story here from our most recent office meeting. One of the brokers in our office, we were talking about FISBOs, and we were talking about, you know, actually when you get clients that want to see a FISBO, uh, some agents won't do it. Uh, you know, our agents will happily show their, uh, their client a, a, a for sale by owner, provided the for sale by owner uh, is reasonable and cooperative, but one of our brokers was saying, uh, that heck, I forget the number, but heck out of the last, uh, I don't remember three or four or five houses they sold. Actually, a couple of them were for sale by owners, but, uh, he kind of laughed and said he enjoyed it because, uh, even though it was kind of a hassle dealing with this, you know, an unrepresented seller, he gave an example in the most recent one. He's pretty sure his buyer saved about $20,000 and bought it uh, significantly under market. Um, and that's because it's not, it's not because uh, the individual for sale by owner is not necessarily asking enough for their house. It's just in so many cases, they really don't understand how to properly prepare their house, how to market their house, get it maximum exposure so that uh, they do receive the maximum value for their house. And, and in many cases, they're receiving the maximum value for it in the way and the method and manner it's being marketed. Uh, which was the case here. So anyway, uh, I invite you to check that out. And anything we can do for you, you can call us at 314-332-1012 or 314-332-1010 or hit any of our websites. And thank you. And until next month, God bless you.